Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome adventure in art with Mr. Rossi. This is called Halloween House. If you didn't get a chance to do Jack Skellington, I mentioned at the end of this video that this is a two-part drawing, that this background right here connects this to another drawing. This is that other drawing. So I just want to pull the camera back just a little bit so that you guys can see how it connects. Okay, so I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. And you will see right here, let me see if I can bring it in just for both, right here, how it connects. And you'll see that, see the background. Again, I'll just move it over one way. And you see my Jack Skellington there. And you see how these two lines right here connect the drawing. Even the, the, the rub in the background is the same. I only got one moon in my drawing, okay? And it just goes off to the other side. Because Jack Skellington does have a house. I mean, I made up my own. It's not the same one from the movie. But it doesn't matter because it goes great with this drawing. See? All one big piece. So, if you want yours to look like mine, get back over there and do that Jack Skellington before you do this one. And let's begin this adventure in Halloween House. This one's super duper easy, guys. So, Halloween House is going to start with anywhere along the side. Now, I'm somewhere by these two circles down here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a sad face all the way off my paper. So I go like this and I draw a sad face all the way off of my paper. Now, right about, again, pick a blue line. You want to give me another sad, and pick a blue line where you're going to stop. Give me another sad face or happy face. This one right here. This one's straight up sad face. And since I'm in the business of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and drop right here another happy face all the way down to the bottom of the page and another happy face all the way down to the bottom of my page. Later on, I'll put a little detail in there and I'll tell you how to do that. So I'm gonna use this blue line and I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna drop it straight down to that sad face. So again, I'm just gonna go like this, trace that blue line, stop, and I'm gonna drag this straight down, boom. And somewhere here in the middle, I'm gonna draw a number one, almost past, I'm gonna pass that first blue line right there. Number one. Or number Juan, that's Spanish for number one. Now I'm gonna go draw my horizontal line and turn this into a rectangle. And off the sides of the top, so maybe what you wanna do is you wanna give me a little horizontal line here to the left and a little horizontal here to the right. And right off the page, diagonal line off the page, diagonal line off the page. So we have the roof. Now, I want to draw this side part of the house over here, anywhere along the middle of that number one, horizontal line, and I'm just tracing that blue line, and I'm going to bring my line straight back down to the sad face, and I'm going to close the top with a sad face. Now, along here, before I start adding any details into the house, I want to add this fence, this gate, and I'm just going to put another little, I'm going to put a happy face with two vertical lines, one, Juan, two, or tuo in Spanish. And you can go ahead and put a little arrow pointing up there, or you can see that as the letter V upside down, if that makes it easier for you to draw it that way. The letter V upside down. Some people want to close that. You can close it. Either way, it looks good. Maybe you want to put one more little line in there so it looks you know, a little more harder to get into that house. And now we're going to add the little details. Super easy. You can put a big sad face here for the door. And I'm going to tell you one more time. I stop at a blue line. That's why we have these blue lines. Works great. Start at a blue line and draw your sad face to a blue line. So it should go like this. Sad face. Sad face. And if you did it correctly, they should be even because I used the blue lines to measure. And I close it with a horizontal line. And I'm going to do the same thing here again, from a blue line to a blue line, from a blue line to a blue line, will make everything nice and even. Muy, muy importante for you to use those blue lines. Now for over on this little, what they call like, I think it's like a gazebo or a, like a glass house kind of a deal attached to the main house. And I'm just going to draw like, like the letter J. It is the letter J upside down. And the letter J one more time, upside down. And you can see it's super easy. It's just touching this line, touching that line. And it's a little different than these. Give it a little variety. Let's make this door a little bit more interesting and give it one vertical line down the middle. 
with horizontal lines inside. And we're almost done with this Halloween house. Let's draw a moon up here, a crescent moon using the letter C and draw it on the other side. And then I said I was gonna show you how to draw a little dirt road. That's just a little sad face, little sad faces. And you got yourself like a little dirt road, you know, leading up to our Halloween house. You could put a little sign here. So I would just use like a little rectangle. So I'll make it like a little diagonal line and then I'll trace over my blue lines and another diagonal line to close it. But I'll make my vertical lines straight up and down. Just like that. And you could put like a little sad face right there. Maybe I'll put a little bit of uh, grass using the letter M, okay? And then right here, you could put like a skull on that sign. And if you wanna put a skull right there, put a little, I hope you guys can see that. I don't wanna block that. You wanna put a sad face. Like that, little horizontal line and a rectangle to close that. And you could put the little eyes in there and the little teeth. You could put it like that. Man, I mean, you know what? You could put a little a little bone over here, little crossbones. Little crossbones. I don't know what that was, a scary trumpet, I guess. Little stars or little circles, different sizes. And if you want to put a little bat over there flying around saying, hey, how you doing? How you doing? The letter M, diagonal line up, diagonal line down, and close that gap with sad face. And guess what, guys? You did a whole drawing of Halloween how from top to bottom, from left to right, you did all right. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Interact with it. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys did excellent with this. Um, again, this is a two-part drawing. You want to go back and do that Jack Skellington. You want to share this with, with uh, your friends, the neighbors, the kids that are knocking on the door with trick-or-treats. You want to zoom it and share it. You want to blow it across the mountains. Mr. Rossi's YouTube channel is the place to be for fun art activities. All right, guys, until the next time, be excellent to yourselves.